let's say I do gaslight my audience. Who freaking cares? This channel is not a weight loss channel. You don't send a huge pie and bread to a weight loss channel. You don't do it. Again, not a weight loss channel. If anything, I should be like, the walking example of what not to be and to lose your weight. I feel like in my past life, I was a doctor or a nurse. No one cares! I lost control of my bowels and I pooped my pants. <laughs> Potatoes, man. Girls, so much has gone on in Girl World lately. Destiny and Lexus are officially married, Beck is in a new relationship and looks genuinely happy, the Slayton sisters, especially Tammy, are doing so well post weight loss surgery, and so is their brother Chris who just finished his first 5k. Rafe also had weight loss surgery and is doing well, and then we have Foodie Beauty, who is no longer everyday Miriam and is back to being Foodie Beauty, and is thought to be in YouTube time out after a video of hers was allegedly removed for hateful content. And then there's the self-proclaimed queen of Girl World, Amber, still posting embarrassing TikToks and the same redundant YouTube videos. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So today is like a weigh in what i ate today chit chat maybe a cook with me moment. Hello, hello. So we're going to do a weigh in. I'm pretty pumped. Hello. I've been doing pretty freaking good, you guys. 489.6 pounds. Shut up. Wait, what? <laughs> Four eighty nine, you guys. I did. <laughs> oh my god, I've been wanting to reach the four eighties and I did it. Now the four seventies are coming. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Remember when she said once she hit the four hundred and nineties, she would step on the scale and have Mamalin film it. I feel like once I get to like four ninety. I will just step on the scale with some clothes on, call it a day, show you guys. Maybe I'll have my mom film it or something, just because it's not that I wanna like prove myself to people. It's just, it makes me sad that people actually think that I would lie about something as silly as that, because if that was the case, I would make myself a lot smaller than in the 500s. I could tell you that right now. I just, 489.6. Like I almost cried. I had like a couple tears in my eyes. I'm very proud of myself. So in total, um, for my highest weight, I am down 82.8 pounds, so that's amazing. Her highest weight was 572.4 pounds, and that was in 2019, five years ago. And then since the beginning of this year, I'm down 28.2 pounds. I'm almost down 30 pounds. Like, that's incredible. Like, I told myself in the beginning of this year, like, I need to do it because I'm 33. I am not getting any younger your girl's getting old. Like I got the gray hair to show for it. So instead of just like trying to be perfect overnight, I slowly just like intuitive ate for, I wanna say a little over two months. I don't know, it's 9.14 PM right now. So it is getting a little late, but I am hoping that my drinks do get here within like, I guess the hour or so, because I do wanna drink tonight. I also ordered Jack in the box, like so gross, so bad for you, but like, mmm, look at that. Wow, this is so unhealthy. This is hitting the spot. Now a little buzz ball. I'm not counting calories, I'm not counting carbs. I'm simply just eating less than I normally would to lose weight. Okay, you guys, so I got some Mediterranean food. This is rice with some chicken. And uh, I have this like really bad habit where I need something sweet after I eat. So I got this red velvet thing. Do I need it? No. Am I gonna have some of it? Yes. I don't even wanna like ruin it. It looks so good. Y'all, I have such a bad sweet tooth. I just ate three fourths of this, but it was good. Okay, you guys, so it has been hours since I last talked to you. It is time to eat. So I'm hoping it still tastes good. It's not as fresh right now because it has been some time. Okay, so I ordered ramen but it's like a ramen with no broth. It's like a carbonara, spicy chicken ramen. She's tasty. So for dinner tonight, I'm having turkey kielbasa, broccoli, peppers, celery, carrots, asparagus, pickles, radish, um, green olives with garlic, and of course, the mustard and cottage cheese. We're in Dollar General and I'm getting a little candy. I'm getting chocolate covered caramel.
let's kick it up a notch. Like I wanna be aware of how many calories I'm eating. So I weigh and measure all my food. My goal is to stay below 2000 calories. And this video is just showing you guys what I decide to eat today. Don't eat junk junk. Like I'm not sitting around eating candy, trust me. It has been hard. Okay, so my first meal, I'm having one of these sweet Italian chicken sausages that I'm just cutting up. I'm gonna cook in a pan, which I am using Pam, which is zero calories. Speaking of Pam, when I do use like actual oil, I will weigh it on my scale before I use it because it does have calories. Sausage is 110, um, some leftover rice, which is two servings, so 320 calories. And I'm also gonna have one egg. So this is 500 calories in total, but that is a perfect amount. Yikes on bikes. Anyways, I'm also gonna be having a A&W. This is the zero sugar root beer. Okay, you guys, so next meal is pretty simple. I'm gonna have some turkey meatballs, some broccoli, and some of this Classico roasted garlic. It's pretty close at just eyeballing it. I've done this long enough. So I did add some tapatio to the sauce. Put the meatballs in here. Okay, you guys. Ew! So for this huge bowl of food is literally only 313 calories. Some cheese would be so good on top of this. What is your guys' favorite vegetable? Mine is a potato. <laughs> Big potato. I was choking on a very big piece of potato that I literally didn't chew. Um, I lost control of my bowels and I pooped my pants. <laughs> okay you guys, so the next thing I'm gonna be eating is this Amy's bowl. It's chili mac. It's only 410 calories and you guys, I do add some tapatio to it. TV dinners aren't healthy, but I will say that Amy's is a healthier version. And with my Amy's bowl, God, I, I will be having a water. So I am trying to drink more water because I know you guys told me that I need to. Don't worry, I hear you guys. Um, ciao. Anyway, so. So I actually just got done playing Mario Party with some friends of mine. I had a sun-kissed Colby Jack cheese and some salami. So it actually came out to 535 calories for the snack. I'm done eating for the night. So I had 1,758 calories, which my goal is to stay below 2,000. There were multiple times today where I wanted to order takeout. That is how it goes every single day for me. I wanna order a large fry from McDonald's. An hour ago, I had this weird urge come over me where I was like, oh my God, I want some Cheez-Its. You know, if I wasn't like, really trying to lose weight right now, I would have ordered them. So what do you guys think of this day of eating? If she actually did stay at 1,800 calories every day, she would drop the weight so quickly, but then we get to the end and we see her mindset is still the same. She still has Uber Eats on her phone and is still tempted every second of the day to order the junk food that she so desperately craves. I'm genuinely curious if she's going to follow through with what she said and start having Mamalin record Amber actually stepping on the scale now that she's reached yet another weight loss goal.